The amount of solar energy that reaches Earth is enough to power our entire world and a civilization 100 times larger than ours. However, every rooftop solar owner knows that current solar technology has a huge problem. Solar panels cannot reach their full potential without enough sunlight, and energy production drops to almost zero on cloudy days. But a savvy engineering student from the Philippines came up with a groundbreaking new invention that could completely revolutionize the solar industry. A solar panel made of organic waste. But don't let this fact fool you, as it actually is a pretty advanced technology that uses the magical phenomenon of mesmerizing glowing beaches and polar lights. This makes the revolutionary new solar panel produce energy even without the sun on cloudy days. It is flexible, transparent, and lightweight, making it the perfect material to transform huge buildings and skyscrapers into clean, vertical solar farms. So, what is this idea all about? How does this groundbreaking new solar panel work, and what does it mean for the future of solar energy? Solar energy is booming and becoming an increasingly important renewable energy source. Entering the clean power era, solar is expected to supply 30% of U.S. electricity by 2030 and become Europe's largest power source simultaneously. That's why scientists worldwide tirelessly research to improve solar technology. They explore new materials and methods to make these systems more efficient. But what if we could solve multiple problems at once? Carvey Maig, an electrical engineering student from the Philippines, thought the same thing. His home country is amongst the top 10 countries hardest hit by climate change. Extreme weather conditions are leading to increasingly violent storms, heavy rainfall, flooding, and periods of extreme heat. Plants cannot withstand these extreme conditions, and much of the harvest is being destroyed. That's a huge problem, as 25% of the population in the Philippines relies on agriculture. Not a farmer himself, Carvey wanted to find a way to take advantage of the damaged crops and give farmers a chance to make some money from their yields, at least. So how did he turn these discarded crop waste into efficient solar panels? Well, before diving into the new invention, it makes sense to understand the basic principle of solar energy. There are two essential ways to generate electricity with solar energy. First, solar thermal energy. It harnesses the solar heat to vaporize water into steam, producing electricity through a turbine and a generator. The second way uses photovoltaics, which is crucial to understanding the innovative new invention. Photovoltaic technology converts sunlight into electricity using semiconductor materials inside the solar cells. When sunlight hits the cell, a photon of the light source hits an electron. The electron gets into an excited state, creating an electric field. This generates a flow of electrons, creating an electric current. This current then powers our homes and businesses when connected through an inverter. Interestingly enough, Albert Einstein was the first to discover this phenomenon called the photoelectric effect. This, and his merit in theoretical physics, earned him the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921. But there is a huge problem in practice. You probably know that light consists of electromagnetic radiation, the sunlight, for example, is simply a combination of various wavelengths. This becomes apparent when sunlight splits on a rainy day, forming a rainbow pattern in which we can clearly see the visible light spectrum. Most photovoltaic cells can only convert a small specific part of this visible light into electricity. In addition, clouds often prevent much visible light from reaching Earth, reducing the overall efficiency. However, only a relatively small fraction of the sunlight is visible light. The most significant portion of solar radiation is ultraviolet and infrared, which isn't detectable for human eyes. The main drawback of conventional solar panels is that the photoelectric effect doesn't occur with ultraviolet and infrared light. The energy of infrared light is too low to initiate the photoelectric reaction, and ultraviolet light has too much energy, causing the solar cells to overheat, further reducing the panel's efficiency. Yet a significant benefit of ultraviolet light is that it can shine through even on a cloudy day, which is why some people get sunburned on cloudy days. So, why not use ultraviolet light, which contains even more energy and can shine through clouds? This is where Carvey's invention comes into play, aiming to leverage a different physical phenomenon called fluorescence. 
His inspiration came from the naturally occurring polar lights, so he named his solar panel Aureus. Northern lights, also called aurora borealis, occur when electrically charged particles emitted from the sun during solar storms collide with the Earth. The Earth's giant magnetic field protects us from these high-energy particles by bouncing them away. However, some of these particles are trapped inside the Earth's magnetic field, speeding toward the poles and penetrating deeper into the atmosphere. Here, the charged particles from the sun collide with atoms of the atmosphere, transferring energy. This energy causes the atoms to become excited, moving them to a higher energy state. When these atoms return to their normal state, they release the absorbed energy as visible light, creating the beautiful displays we see as the northern lights. Another example of a similar phenomenon occurring in nature is called bioluminescence. It is found in fireflies or deep sea creatures, such as anglerfish and jellyfish, that use chemical reactions to glow in the dark of the deep sea. While some species use this to attract prey or to communicate and mate, some planktonic species found in those mesmerizing glowing beaches use it to deter predators. However, Carvey utilized this phenomenon to convert highly energetic ultraviolet light into electricity. All of that begins with fluorescent particles derived from the planet's original solar energy producers, fruits and vegetables. For instance, TD tomato is a fluorescent protein compound in tomatoes. Therefore, Carvey extracted these fluorescent compounds from discarded crop waste, combined it with a resin, and poured it over a thin solar film, creating strong, translucent, yet easily moldable glass-like panels. On the edges of the panels, he placed small photovoltaic cells. The invisible UV light emitted from the sun activates the fluorescent compounds and re-emits visible light, just like it happens in northern lights. The visible light then hits the photovoltaic cells on the edges and generates electricity. This way, the Aureus solar panel operates on a cloudy day, even without direct sunlight. As a result, it can produce energy 50% of the time compared to 15 to 25% in standard solar panels, according to preliminary testing. Because the Aureus panels don't need direct sunlight, their applications could be limitless. They could excel in cloudy locations with less direct sunshine. But more than just adapting to the weather, Aureus panels could be the perfect choice in more densely populated urban environments. Unlike traditional solar panels, it is lightweight and translucent, making Aureus panels perfect for creating vertical solar farms rather than taking up acres of land. Think about entire buildings and skyscrapers covered in these ultraviolet absorbing solar panels. Because they don't rely on direct sunlight, Aureus panels could increase solar harvesting density exponentially. Best of all, the panels utilize crop waste, creating much more of a closed-loop system that benefits the environment as a whole. Currently, the panels aren't quite ready to hit the market, but this innovation was enough to win the James Dyson Sustainability Award, which came with a $35,000 prize. Carvey hopes to invest this money in research and development for this really promising technology. He also hopes to create a production team and facility to increase manufacturing, as the current production rate is about 30 panels a month. So make sure to like this video and help Carvey spread his new invention to more people. What do you think about this new solar invention? Do you think it has the potential to revolutionize the solar industry? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel and check out another groundbreaking new breakthrough by clicking the displayed video.